All right, all right, everybody, here I am. It says poor wireless connection. I'm not sure why that would be. Let's hope that does not continue. Uh, let's see if anyone's here yet. No one's coming, ah, there we go. Okay, great, come on in, everybody. All right, here we go. Nice, nice to see you all. I hope that my Wi-Fi holds out here. I'm in the office, in my office. Um, if it does not hold out, again, if the if this drops, if I get dropped, just hang in there. I'll uh, start it again. But I see you all saying hi, Carol, Clem, Christy, Stephanie, Dawn, David. Nice to see you all, Karen. All right, come on in, come on in, everybody. Here's old Jessica. Not old Jessica, I mean, there's my friend Jessica. Um, all right, come on in, everybody. Great, all right. Um, so as you can see, I am in my office still. It's been a long day and um, I'm still here in the office. Uh, just finished a, uh, a board meeting via Zoom and um, for Joseph House, that is our ministry to and with formerly incarcerated men um, in Tallahassee. It's a great place. It's a great community. And so uh, anyway, that is, uh, yeah. That is, uh, uh, that's where I was. And so I just stayed here in the office so that I could do this. And then I have another appointment. I'm just gonna go uh, stop in to see our, uh, our men who are in formation to be deacons, uh, permanent deacons in our diocese. They're having a, a seminar today, uh, tonight, tomorrow, and a little bit into Saturday, I believe. So um, I'll go see them where they are, just to pop over and just say hello to them. So my day will end then probably about, uh, 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 I don't know when, probably uh, nine o'clock. But uh, if I do look tired, because thank you, I, I, I appreciate your concern for me. It's because I am. Um, I've been traveling a lot by car and uh, for some reason I thought I was gonna, I get, I was gonna sleep yesterday. I was, I was gonna get a lot of sleep. It's my own bed for the first time in about five nights. But no, I was worried um, about some things. Um, and I knew that would happen. You know, uh, here it is, go to bed, 11 o'clock, can't sleep. Look at the watch, 12.30, 1.30, 2.30, 3.00, 4.30, 5.00, 6.00, 7 o'clock. It's time to get out of bed, but I didn't sleep at all. So that was unfortunate. Um, Never used to have sleep less nights, but uh, sometimes the worry and stress gets to me a little bit and uh, doesn't help me at all. Um, but it uh, doesn't help to stay up all night, but uh, I can't convince myself to fall asleep. So I haven't slept in a couple of days. So tonight I hope will be a good, uh, good chance to get a good, good night's rest. After this next uh, appointment, then I'll go home and uh, sleep, hopefully for seven or eight hours. Anyway, um, but that's my life, that's what I do. Okay, um, uh, so here I am in the office. I don't think I've shown you this. You've seen my office before, my desk. It should be cleaner, but it's not, and uh, various things here in the office. Um, there's the picture of me and Pope Francis over there and the papal bull. I think I showed you that last time. That's the, uh, the document in which it was announced that I was uh, going to be, I was appointed bishop of this diocese, so that's kind of cool. But I don't think I've shown you this. Now, someone gave me a bobblehead. They said it's of me. I don't think it looks like me. Actually, I'm kind of flattered, but this is not, this doesn't look like, does it look like me? Not really. Yeah, anyway, that's supposed to be me, this little bobblehead. I mean, they got the vestment and the uh, crozier right, you know, but. Yeah, anyway. Uh... <laughs> I've got my own little bobblehead. All right, good. Uh, sorry about that. Um, okay, great. Anyway. Um... I don't think it looks like me, but again, it's flattering if I had that kind of jaw, you know, and everything. Hi there, but whatever. Okay, um, great. So, a lot of traveling lately. Uh, if you're interested, wow, a lot of driving. Um, 
I think it was Saturday that I drove to Tallahassee. I had a mass there in the Co Cathedral, great mass, and uh, then another one in the morning there. And then I uh, drove to um, Atlanta on Sunday through rain the whole way and stayed with my nephew and niece and uh, their family in Atlanta so that I could attend the ordination on Monday of Bishop John Tran, the new auxiliary bishop, one of the new auxiliary bishops in, um, in Atlanta. He, is a, he was a priest in uh, New Orleans and now he's another auxiliary bishop in uh, Atlanta. So that's kind of cool. If they have three auxiliary bishops, I want to get one of those. All right, they may have a million or a million and a half Catholics, and we only have 75,000 here. But still, it would be great to have an auxiliary bishop. Someone I could order around. No, I'm kidding. Someone who could help me uh, to uh, you know, go around the diocese and do things. But who am I kidding? I, I'd be jealous. I wouldn't want to share that, this great ministry with anyone, so I'm glad. But it was a really neat uh, uh, ordination ceremony. It's, it's fantastic to go to a, an ordination anytime, if you can, of a deacon or a priest or a bishop. But for me now as a bishop to, uh, to attend or celebrate or concelebrate the ordination of a brother bishop is just really special because, of course, I'm, I'm really paying attention especially to the prayers and all the actions, you know, lying prostrate on the, on the ground and uh, the... the anointing with the oil and that laying out of hands, all that stuff that happened to me. It's just really neat when I can celebrate because I don't have that stress. I can just be there and smile and, and celebrate um, with everyone else. So it was a great thing. And it was really nice to be with my, um, as I said, my niece and nephew and their children, especially my goddaughter, uh, Mabel, whom we just baptized uh, a few, a month ago. I got to hold her a lot and feed her and burp her. I did not change her. Not because I'm against that or because I don't know how, but just, I don't know. Maybe it was a little miracle with me, the great uncle holding her, but she never had to be changed when I was holding her. I'm just saying, maybe it's part of my charisma. charisma. Um, but it was really great. She is the happiest baby I think I've ever seen. She smiles constantly. And um, so it, that was just very special for me. To, uh, to be able to spend so much time with her and my other uh, nieces, great nieces and nephews. And I got to play um, uh, a tooth fairy as well for my great niece who lost her two front teeth. And uh, I was the only one with some cash on me, so uh, we put that under her pillow and that was pretty awesome. So it's really kind of a fun little thing to do. So anyway, but Tallahassee, then up to Atlanta, then two days later I drove down to Panama City, five hours and uh, for some meetings there, and then over to Fort Walton Beach, back to Panama City, back to Pensacola today. Then I'm going to Panama, I don't know, Fort Walton Beach and Niceville this weekend because we're celebrating uh, a big mass for Black History Month at Christ Our Redeemer in Niceville. I think I might have mentioned this before, but we're really honored to have um, uh, Cardinal Wilton Gregory from Washington, D.C. to be our presider and homilist on Sunday evening, Sunday afternoon, I think it's at two. That's gonna be really neat to be there. So um, to be there and kind of celebrate with him. And then I'll stay overnight and I think I go to Quincy, they're having a celebration there, and then back to Pensacola, and then a couple days later back to Tallahassee. My goodness, we need a high-speed high speed train or a plane or a helicopter or something. But especially now I'm going back and forth to Tallahassee and. Fort Walton Beach and Quincy, like three hours just constantly. So anyway, that's okay. Um, okay, great. And then, um, so that's all that's going on here. Um, I want to thank you for being, uh, just for joining me like this. I think it's really neat. I know I, I can read your comments and I see you commenting, um, but I saw that I know you're there and I know you know that each other is there. Does that make sense? So that this is a community and we're all, we come together for a couple of minutes on Thursday to hear me yammer on, but also to uh, receive a blessing and receive the blessing of just being in this community together. So that's really neat. Um, also, I uh, want to uh, say hello to uh, Carolyn, Caroline Murray. Um, my mom's friend and parishioner there at Christ the King. Hopefully you figured out how to watch us tonight. That's great. Um, I know that uh, 
your husband John just passed away. John was my uh, history teacher in high school in South Bend. And I um, was a little intimidated by him when I was a student, obviously, but then as a priest, when I could go and, and uh, celebrate Mass there and see him there, it was just a great honor and everything. I know he just died, and I pray that God may receive his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed in the mercy of God. I saw, um, I saw somebody else wrote that their brother died just yesterday or today, so we pray for all those who have died that they may be welcomed into the kingdom of heaven. Um, great. Well, that's, there's not a lot. Sorry, I wish I could share more with you, um, more than just my travel schedule and the, what I'm doing, but still, that's, that's kind of what this is about. I know I owe you a beep beep story, and um, I really want to do that uh, maybe next Thursday. I, I, will, I may do this from, uh, from Fort Walton Beach because I'll be there next Thursday. Um, for a vocations panel and then to visit all the schools and everything like that. So that'll be really neat. Um, but anyway, so I, I do owe you a beep beep story. I've gotten some more uh, uh, requests slash uh, uh, suggestions for a beep beep story. So that's good. Um, somebody said beep beep and they, they said creep creep beep creep. That sounds creepy. I've, I think it was about uh, stop and go traffic. That's it. Beep beeps and stop and go traffic and beep, beep, creep, or beep, creep, beep. I don't know, but I don't want to do anything with creepy in it or creep. So even though it rhymes with beep. Uh, so there we go. Beep, beep gets tired from too much driving. Thank you for that, Linda. Um, yes, something like that. Maybe. Hmm, I like that. Beep, beep falls asleep at the wheel. No. Anyway, not that I've done that or anything, but Hmm. Okay. Anyway, I owe you that. So that's coming soon. And uh, thank you again for joining me and all of us tonight. Um, I'm going to go do one more little uh, engagement and then I'm looking forward to sleeping. Uh, hope you all sleep well. And, um, and Martin, you go back to sleep there and, and uh, where you are. It's, it's in the middle of the morning. So um, God bless you all. And uh, I'm going to say a prayer over you. Okay. Today we celebrate the memorial of Saints Timothy and Titus. They were presbyters of, I believe, Ephesus and Crete, respectively, companions of St. Paul, and recipients of, the two, of two of the pastoral epistles of St. Paul, 1 and 2, Timothy and Titus. And um, in, in those letters, which are really good, you know, Paul is telling them, he said, I know you have faith, I saw it, I was there, I ordained you, basically, said, and he said, I, I, I want you to stir into flames the... Uh, the spark that is in you and uh, of the flames of faith, if you will, the spark that was that is in you and that was given to you uh, during the laying out of hands. And then, you know, live the faith well, etc. So anyway, it's, they're really good and they're short little epistles. If you ever want to just kind of, I guess, a little encouragement in ministry or just living the Christian life, pick up those uh, Paul's letters to Timothy 1 and 2 and Paul's letter to Titus. And... Um, you will not be disappointed. They're very good. Okay, great. So let us pray. Good and gracious God, and this, uh, we pray through the intercession of these two great saints and presbyters, Timothy and Titus, that, that you would watch over us, help us to be good and faithful shepherds of your people, those of us who are ordained and those of us who, are, who share in uh, the priesthood of Christ through baptism. Bless all of us. Help us to know your will and give us the strength and the courage to carry it out. Watch over those who are distressed or worried or anxious or sick tonight. Be their strength and their guide and their patience and their comfort. And help us to be strong for our brothers and sisters as well, that we may live our faith and bring them hope, encouragement, and peace. Bless us today and always, I pray, through Christ our Lord. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, everybody. Have a great night. God bless you. Oh, there's my sister. Hi, Mary. All right. Bye, everybody.